could cry just thinking about you. It starts as like a 52 second song, right? And then you choose to extend it. First question is why? And then the sec- second question is which came first? The longer version and then mm. you cut? Or is it the shorter version and then you choose to extend? So with Could Cry, that was like truly one of those moments where I was like songwriting is like saving my life. Like I was really, really in the thick of it and just like going through it. And I wrote it um, in my kitchen. My friend Teo, who I'd been working with, Teo Harm, he's like got the most beautiful, beautiful sounds and he had sent me a track and it was that. And so... I wrote it by myself in my kitchen and like recorded it in my kitchen. And that's like the version that you hear on In a Dream. And it sounds like kind of bad, but like it just was a very, very, very like real heavy moment for me. And I was like crying when I was writing it and all this stuff. Anyways, because of the context in which I wrote it, I didn't take it very seriously as a song. Like I was like, oh, this is just like a song that I wrote in my kitchen and recorded in my kitchen. Yeah, but why do you not take that seriously when that's like the most vulnerable you, I mean, may, may I don't know. I probably did. should have, but like it just didn't feel legit for some reason. And so I decided to make it just like an interlude on the, cause I, I knew that I loved it, but I, I put it out as an interlude on the EP and people really responded to it. And then when I was doing this like performance video, Um, of the EP I sang the full version and the reaction was just like insane and still like at the moment if I meet people out and about um, and they like tell me that they like my music they talk about that song and they talk about um, my house (laughs) in Australia Um, and so it just like has really shaken me that that's the one that people have connected with the most. Yeah, I don't but what know. does that tell you as you move forward and create? Well, that was the thing is that like I, I voice noted Teo the other day actually to say to him like just how grateful I am because it completely, completely reminded me of like why I make music and what it's all about and um, what it's capable of for me personally as far as like working through stuff but then also what it's capable of, you know, for others like it was an interlude and people come up to me and and talk to me about it and and so it was just a very pure like songwriting moment where i i felt like wow this this is amazing to be able to write songs it's just like the coolest thing what did it get you through like a lot (laughs) um yeah it just was like i think you know there's stuff that you say you would say it in like a journal, you would say it to your therapist, you'd maybe say it to your best friend. And for some reason, for me, I would also say it in a song. And other than that, like, I don't really like feel super comfortable talking about of it. Course. But, um, but yeah, it just like, it's like my inner thoughts, basically. Do you have enough 